Hello, wonderful people. Welcome to the Dig It Out or Use It Up blog hop hosted by Courtney Creever. Here I'm showing you the Brutus Monroe Gilded Embossing Powder, the Simon Says Stamp Botanical Heart Stamp Set, the We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press Advanced, Versamark, and I'm also showing you the various Nouveau Shimmer Powders I'm using today, Cherry Bomb, Green Parade, Violet Brocade, Atlantis Burst, and Blue Splits. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Blue Blitz. I'm adding the first one is the Violet Brocade, and I'm using the Silver Brush Company's number two brush, a round brush there. And I'm just spreading it around, and you can see the variety of color in these shimmer bursts. They're just so beautiful. They are, I guess, very shimmery, obviously, that's the name, and they do actually live up to their name. And look how vibrant that is and there's so much color that you're able to literally spread it I probably could have used the just that in the entire thing and it would have been fabulous because as you have more water and less pigment obviously you know the color just becomes less and it's just such a beautiful it turns like to like a periwinkle blue and deeper purple in, when it's more saturated in color. Here I'm adding the, uh, I believe it's the Green Parade to the leaves, and I'm spreading that all over as well. And really the, the only water I add is when I use the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer. And I just spritzed a little bit of water because I am using Nina 110 pound solar white paper here. Um, I, I didn't put a whole lot of water and it took the water pretty well, but it did warp quite a bit. And there I'm showing you I'm about to add the blue blitz. And it just came out so lovely and the shimmer on this is just amazing. I could not get enough. I was so excited to have done this. And then I did put the blue blitz onto the little I guess they're little buds on the bottom left and the top right and I'm just sort of spreading the color around I don't even change the color on my brush I just keep going and just kind of you know getting it all over and I did put a cherry bomb I'm telling you that color came out in such a huge amount <laughs> I did not expect it but at that point I just went with it I ran with it. I spread it into the um, the violet brocade and made just so many luscious colors with that. It just went so beautifully together. It went in there and mixed in with the lighter areas of the violet brocade. It made it more vibrant where it was deepest in purple. It just looks amazing to me. I had such a great time with this. So much fun playing. It was almost like finger painting, but I used a brush. <laughs> so I'm just adding a little bit more of it on the outer side. I want it to look more like um, spritzed, I guess, more so than sprinkled. So I was trying for that and I succeeded in certain places and in others it became more, a little more of a solid color and you'll see here it starts to look like a true mess but be patient it's not going to be a mess it turns out really nicely so I'm just kind of swing you know swishing around the water and adding some more powder here and there you can see how all the different colors burst out in there it's just so beautiful it has blues and fuchsia it's just gorgeous. So that's kind of picking up some of the water, the excess here and there. So hopefully it won't warp as badly as it was starting to. I have a little bit of a, a dark spot at the top, but it dries back a bit lighter and it just looks incredible. Here I'm bringing in the vintage stitch squares from Spellbinders. And that is a six by six ready-made card from Anna Griffin from her Perfect Palette set and I did 
cut out fun foam from the vintage squares as well and I'm applying the glitter glue and I'm placing it right straight down to the front of the card front there smoothing it out and I'm bringing in the Simon Says stamp to use just to say hello the botanical heart stamp set that I stamped and embossed and now the interior sentiment I'm actually putting in first and that is from Gina K designs and that is called I believe wealth of wishes so here I'm adding the Bruce Monroe gilded ultra fine embossing powder and bringing over my heat tool after I get all the stray powder out and there's the magic I love that it's my favorite part I will never get sick of watching embossing powder melt so here off camera I just quickly stamped the exterior sentiment and I just you know again it's my favorite part so I had to show the embossing powder melting that's it that's the interior and I'm going to put some beautiful they're called unicorn tears rhinestone mix from Trinity stamps and I'm bringing out my katana uh, jewel picker and I'm using the Gina K connect glue to place each of the crystals down and they have this beautiful aurora borealis glow to them they just pick up all the different colors that you sit them on just gorgeous i just absolutely love 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 this card and the way it came out with all the beautiful shimmer and shine oh i absolutely love it thanks for being a part of this hop I really enjoyed making this card for you, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Blessings and stay well. Bye-bye.